Hi everyone, it's Latin Roses. I'm here to bring you another great love story of Peter and Layla. Hi, I'm here with the lovely Layla. And she's going to tell us a story today about how she met her handsome husband, Peter. Yes. I got to say, not only are you beautiful on the inside, oh, you're beautiful on the outside <laughs> and the inside. I've known you for a while and you just have such great energy. Thanks. Ditto. So. <laughs> <laughs> so how did you meet your husband? You're newlyweds, right? You yes. just got married. Yes. Uh, actually, on the 25th is going to be the one year anniversary of when we first met. Uh, wrote each other online. We were actually reading it to each other the other day, like wow. our initial conversation. Wow, yeah. how cute. So when, when did you guys get married? Uh, November 12th. And how long were you dating before you actually got married? Oh my gosh, we, we, met, uh, we met June 24th, and then we were pretty much inseparable after that. It just kind of all progressed Aww. from there. Yeah. So how did you guys exactly meet? Uh, my best friend that I've known since uh, junior high school, she works with him, and um, she, I, she's known him for a couple of years, and uh, she thought that we would be a good team, or a good, she thought we would be good friends, and so we met under the pretext that we were going to be friends, and then, well, we're married now. <laughs> That's good, because a lot of people will just try to set up other single people, and yeah. they're really not a match. That no. was really a good match. Yeah, yeah. So, what was your first date like? Uh, so, I was, uh, let's see, um, we, we decided to meet at uh, the Taps Brewery, Brewery in Corona. Okay, and, um, in Southern California. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And so, uh, I, I just, you know, I got all dolled up. It's all cute. <laughs> I was like, I know we're just going to be friends, but I, <laughs> I yeah. just want to look good, you know? Yeah, of course. <laughs> so, yeah, I got all dolled up, and then... Um, I just I remember parking and I saw him through the um, like through the glass door of the restaurant waiting for me and I wow. was like oh my god he's so pretty like, like he's gorgeous yeah I was like he's gorgeous wow and uh, yeah and so we um, we sat down we had dinner we ended up ordering like this we like the same foods that was really cool um, and uh, then we ended you up like, like the same foods yeah yeah I mean we both had calamari and we ordered tuna and oh, wow. And then we had our little um, beer sampler. <laughs> we love that. And uh, no, important. Yeah, yeah, it's super important. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, and then we just um, uh, I was going through some stuff at the time, and so I really didn't talk to him for a little bit after that. And then again, my friend was like, calls me late at night, and she's like, Hey, uh, Peter and I are here. We're getting off at twelve. Uh, get your jacuzzi on. We're coming over. We're gonna have fun. It's a weekend, and so I was like, Whoa. Uh, okay. <laughs> so yeah, he he comes over, and then um, uh, pretty much from that day on, like we we have not been separate like one day. I know that sounds disgusting, but <laughs> but we we see each other every like single day. It right away that it's just there's something. Yeah, it's just um, it just flows. Like nothing I had to do in this relationship was difficult. Everything just seemed to fall into place. It, it was, um, sometimes with a relationship you try and um, you force things to work or you you kind of reason with yourself or you try and, um, you try and, what am I trying to say? Like you, you, well, you kind of try and force it to, okay. to work. Yeah, of yeah. course. Uh, or you reason with yourself or you compromise, you compromise with yourself yes, to make things work. Yeah, mm -hmm. and like, oh, well, you know, it may not be like this, but uh, I'll accept him for who he is. He might have 80% of what you want. You know, yeah, exactly. Right. But yeah. in this case, like, it was just everything just flowed. Everything was natural. Um, it didn't have to try. It didn't have to put on a fake personality or anything. So it was you felt just, like you could be yourself from the very beginning with this guy. Yeah, right? yeah. It was just, again, it was just natural. It was, um, I never believed in fate or anything like that, but um, I guess... I guess he was my destiny or something. <laughs> wow, you're glowing. I know. Still. I'm so, at what point did you realize he was the one? Um, well, I I was moving out of my place, and uh, he offered to let me. He was trying to get me to rent a room uh, from this guy that he was renting to, just you know, kind of help me find a place to go. And so we ended up instead like sharing a room because again we couldn't be apart from each other. <laughs> And um, it just wasn't working out with the roommate, uh, and so I, you know, I was really sad. But I was telling him, you know what? I think I'm, I'm gonna move back into with my parents because the situation here is not working. Mm -hmm. 
And I thought he was going to say, like, okay, well, I'm sorry it's not working, you know, see you next week or something. But he, he surprised me because he was like, uh, so when do we move out? And I was like, did you say we? And he's like, yeah, what, when do we go? And, um, yeah, we were there, we were, like, going to get an apartment. But then um, my parents ended up really liking him, too. And that's so, a plus. Yeah. yeah. It's hard sometimes. So I, and yeah. they, they offered to let us move in while we stayed for a house together. But, I mean, we, you know, that wasn't... I know you asked me, like, what was the point when I knew. Yeah. But at that point when he had told me, like, well, where are we going to go? You know, and he he insinuated a we. And so I, I was like, wow, you know, that's great. And the fact that I said I'm going back to my parents, the fact that he was able to even tolerate my parents, or I'm not that they're hard to tolerate, yeah, but the it, fact that he was accepting. Right? Yeah, yeah, I was just so surprised. And, and from that moment, you know, I just thought, like, Wow, like he's willing to, he's on this roller coaster ride and you know, he just bought a, a seat next to mine and he wants to go, you know, on this yeah. whole journey. So you knew when he said we, he was yeah. thinking about you. In the yeah, because yeah, then I thought, yeah, well, there's no more, you know, me and him, it's us now. So at that point, it just, again, it just kind of, it just, it just kind of grew. Really natural, yeah, right? it was like a, a wild seed in the forest and it grew it into its own <laughs> I like that. I didn't have to water it or anything. It just grew Aww. by itself. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. So, um, do you think it was like you loved him right away? Um, so I knew that it was rough, you know, we all yeah. have our trials. And no, no, yeah. That don't um, work I think, I think we were, I think we really, there was like a really deep caring feeling at first. And um, the attraction was just yeah, awesome. obviously the attraction yeah. is there. Yeah. But I mean, we really cared for each other, and you know, like, and I had told him too, like, I'm going through stuff. This is really hard for me. I'm like emotionally shut down right now, and um, just he he just you know, I mean, I just put it out there for him, and he he just was like, it's okay, like I'm here, like just put it on me, and then from there I. I realized, like, oh my gosh, like, I, I love this guy, like, this is amazing. And he was the first one, you were the first one, Peter, to say, <laughs> I love you. <laughs> yeah, and so, I mean, when he said that, it did take me a little bit to to process what, what he had said, but, I mean, and then at that point, which I never thought I would open my heart to anybody again, I, I thought, oh, what the heck, you know? I lost yeah. everything already, like, what the heck? I don't have so anything far, to lose. Right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I just, um, I just kind of let myself go and, and let myself love again. And I know my mom was like, I'm afraid you're going to become like a cat lady or something. Yeah. <laughs> but no, no not that it's bad to that. be a cat lady. You're too beautiful not at all. That. But yeah. Yeah, but I, I was, and I was happy. I was going to have all my Yorkies and my cats. And, <laughs> yeah. So you have, fast forward now, you're married. Yes. We have a beautiful home together, right. and you guys are just a wonderful couple. Yes. It's a great story. Thank you. And you give hope to a lot of people yeah. who are still looking for love. Exactly. Uh, never give up. And um, don't, again, don't try and force things. Just let things come naturally and uh, let fate handle it. Don't go out looking for love because love will find you. That's what I learned. I'm uh -huh. serious. <laughs> I love that. Love will find you. It will. It, it will. Just lovely Layla. keep positive, keep happy, uh, have fun. Um, go out there and do the things that you like to do. And in that process, you'll find, you'll find someone. And that's exactly what I was doing. I was just minding my own business and having fun. That is wonderful. Yeah. I'm so happy for you. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you so much for taking the time to share your story. Oh, it's really, it's so sweet. <laughs> All right. Okay. Thanks. Bye. 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 I hope you really enjoyed that story. It was a really good one. So if you like that story, hit like. If you want to stay in touch, subscribe. And as always, I wish you love, peace and join.